it, even up to now, even though shooting, I've been shooting for so long, that's still a thing for me too, right? Because I mean, I do enjoy shooting all different things, but I know that when it comes to marketing, you need to really specialize in one thing. So when a client finds you, they're like, this is the person. It's not a person that, that does everything. This is the person that is focused on this one thing. And this is a person that I want. So now are you still doing, I do specialize in everything or are you now focused in just one or two things? So I'm definitely very, very focused now, um, not even just in as far as like what I shoot being like weddings and couples and maternity, um, also in the style of what I post. So it's gone from literally doing everything of every style. Oh, you want to hire me? What do you want? I can do it to now specializing in a certain type of photography and then my own look and style of that photography. So it definitely is really important to narrow your niche down. And even if you in the beginning have the time and want the extra income of shooting other things, I think it's still important to, if you have a end goal of what you want your brand and your business to be about, to make sure what you're showing is that. So um, because I've been marketing the way that I have for so long and I have really narrowed my niche down, I don't get too many things outside of that. But in the event that I do, like very rarely shoot like a family session or something, but that's not really in line with what my brand is. So I'll shoot it and I'll take great photos and the people will love them and I won't post it. So oh. not because I didn't think the photos came out great. Um, mm -hmm. Just because I'm really conscious of making sure that my brand image is really cohesive and I'm only putting out what I'm marketing for. Do you find that to be very important? Have you like felt or seen the difference between uh, uh, when you used to just advertise all kinds of photos compared to just focusing on your branded uh, fairy tale wedding photo? Do you feel and see the difference between that? Definitely. Is that yes. Yeah. I feel like um, we know the market is very saturated and yeah. There's so many different ways that you can choose to compete with that. And a lot of people, especially beginners, try to compete and go against that by offering the most, you know, having the lowest price or finding some way to say, hey, pick me, pick me in this sea of options. And I think that when you're really specialized, it helps you stand out and people are seeking you out. So um, you might get passed up because of it, too, because if you're trying to market to the masses and you're really specialized, there's definitely gonna be people that come along and see that and they're like, nope, I, I don't like fairy tales. That's not what I'm going for. <laughs> um, mm. But then the people who do want that, when they find you, they're really not gonna find many other options that are that you know, specific. So it's kind of a give and take. You are going to turn off some people and others you're gonna be the only clear option. So. Um, it's definitely made a huge difference for me in when those ideal clients do find me, it's kind of an obvious choice and they're really excited to work with me and it's a really good connection. And it's really nice when people are choosing me because they connect with what I love to do and not just choosing me for other reasons that are more convenient, like pricing or so-and-so knew me. Um, they're really seeking me out for what I love to shoot. And how did you get into, I know like it is very difficult for a photographer to feel like, oh, how do I find my my look, my brand? How did you stumble onto your look and brand? What got you uh, inspired to do what you're doing, the fairy tale wedding? Yeah, that is a great question. I think back on that a lot because it's been so pivotal in my career to figure that out. And I remember back in 2010 was the first that I had heard of branding. It was right after I shot my first wedding, right when I was first starting my business. And I went to a workshop in Nashville with a photographer named Sarah Barlow. She shot weddings at the time, but now she's like an amazing commercial photographer that works with musicians. Um, but she introduced me to the concept of branding. And she told all of us who were at the workshop about this exercise we were going to do where we were going to create a brand board. So we were going to take this Photoshop document and just throw on all these different photos of like things that caught our eye or inspired us. And I was 19 years old, um, very different set of style and stuff than I have now. And I put a lot of stuff on there that was 
relating to like my personal style, how I like to dress. It was very um, like hot pink and black, like girly <laughs> editorial magazine looking. Um, and I remember like looking through all these images. I don't know what the source was that we were getting the images from because there was no Pinterest back then. But I would see other things that attracted me too that didn't really fit that look. And I was asking her like, should we put kind of everything that's really calling to us, even if it's not fitting together? And she said, yes, like whatever it is. So I put together this board. I still have it somewhere. Um, and it has like all these magazine clippings and like super editorial stuff. But then there's this random castle and this random like vintage keyhole on there. And it just was all there. And so I kind of put that brand into action, wore it, tried it on for a year. And after like a year, I'm like, you know, this is still not feeling like it. So I went back to the original board and looked at it again. I'm like, what do I still love on here? And what do I not? And I just kept looking at that castle and that keyhole. I'm like, that's there for a reason. And I thought about it and I'm like, okay, if I could choose whatever I want to shoot for the rest of my life, what on this board looks like that? And I'm like, man, if I could like travel through Europe or anywhere and shoot weddings at castles, like that would be it. So I kind of ran with that specific little part of the branding board. And in 2011, me and my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, um, booked a trip to Ireland just so I could go see castles and shoot at castles and just like literally went for it. And I came back from that trip like, yep, this is this is definitely what I want to do. So it was about 2012 or 2013 that fully started um, rebranding for specifically the fairy tale look. 